If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to learn how you can make use of the Open Telemetry demo GitHub repo to learn about Open Telemetry along with performance testing and engineering concepts. So we are going to see how we can use Open Telemetry to debug the performance related issues by deploying this demo application. Not everyone is working on microservices or natively distributed application. But if you want to learn about Open Telemetry, definitely you can deploy the demo application to learn yourself. And you can learn more concepts when you try to make use of this repository by yourself. In this video, I'm going to list out the roadblocks. Whenever you try to make use of this application or repo, you might face some issues. So we're going to see what issues you will face and we are going to learn something new. Before we see a demo, first let us understand the architecture. So whenever you start any project, either in a performance engineering or whether you are about to write some scripts, make sure you understand the application. So here there are around 10 microservices involved in this demo application with multiple technologies. So they are using a locust as the load generator. So here, as you see at the top right, there is a component load generator, which is making use of locust. And at the left, we have the internet, which is coming from the real user. So both real user and the synthetic user will hit the front end. So front end is made up of next.js stack. So the, uh, the front end will hit the add service or it may hit checkout service or it may hit recommendation service based on the URL. Checkout service will make a call to either cart or currency, email, payment, product catalog, shipping. Similarly, recommendation service will make a call to product catalog service and cart service make use of Redis cache. So these are the some high level information about the demo application. And before you deploy the demo application, make sure you use the latest version of Docker and uh, latest version of Docker Compose, which is 2.0 plus. And make sure you use at least 4 GB of RAM. I would go with 8 GB, but minimum 4 GB of RAM and at least 2 vCPUs. And you can make use of any flavor of Linux, either Ubuntu, Fedora, so anything uh, will work. And other important point to notice, it is uh, making use of 100% of the telemetry requests uh, will be submitted to the backend. And also there are uh, synthetic uh, load generation uh, using the locust. And these are the components it will spin up. Web store, the front end, it's at uh, 8080 and Grafana at uh, slash Grafana and feature flags. So feature flags will help you to disable or enable features to test it out. And load generator UI where you get the locust UI where you can start and stop the test and Jaeger for the uh, distributed tracing. I already posted a couple of videos about Jaeger UI. You can check it out my previous videos. Okay, now let us go to the terminal. So this is my AWS uh, EC2 box running Ubuntu. And here if you type uh, Docker uh, PS, as you see, there are so many containers up and running from past several hours. So I'm using uh, AWS, but you can use any digital ocean or any other uh, flavor of cloud, or you can use your local machine as well. Okay, now let us uh, launch the application in the browser. So as you see here, this is the front end. It's a open telemetry demo shop where you can uh, purchase the uh, telescopes. Just a dummy application. And if you just scroll down, as you see here, it displays various products. And you can just click on the product, click on add to cart, and you can place the order. Just straightforward, nothing fancy here. Very uh, simple application. And a couple of points to notice. Uh, there are uh, uh, options to change the currency. And if you just uh, scroll down and if you click on any application or any product, uh, you can see the recommendations. So you may also like. So this also will make use of some uh, microservices. Okay, now let us go to the Grafana. So again, Grafana has default uh, two dashboards one is demo dashboard and open telemetry collector so we will come to this uh, later and next is uh, locust uh, ui so here as you see it automatically starts some load test with uh, 10 users and then it will keep running again and again as you see here these are some of the calls it will makes and if you click on charts you can see the charts failures 
exceptions. I have a whole series about Locust in my uh, YouTube playlist. Please check it out. So next we will see the Jaeger UI. So as you see here, there are totally 13 services we are tracing. And if you just click on find traces, it will display all the trace information. Let us come back to Jaeger UI uh, once we uh, turned on some flag. Now at last we have the feature flags. So here we are going to see two scenarios. One is we are going to simulate some catalog failure, product catalog failure. And also we are going to enable the uh, recommendation cache. So right now, as you see, there are two feature flags, both are disabled. So as you see here, false for the product catalog and recommendation cache also it is false. Now let us turn on the product catalog failure by clicking on the edit button and let me just uh, check this box enabled and click on save. So now the product catalog failure is on. Okay, now let us go to the our uh, open telemetry demo application and let us click on the first product here. And as you see here, it is displaying zero dollars. Basically this particular product is not there in the backend because that particular feature flag is disabled this particular product. So right now we should get 500 for this particular uh, product. So let us just copy this product link here and let us go to the locust. And let us click on failures and let us uh, reset the stats here. So this will uh, reset the stats and then uh, it will start the uh, testing again. So now let me go to the failures. So let us wait for a few more moment and then let us uh, search for the product. So now as you see the get call of this particular product which is throwing 500. Basically the particular uh, product is not available. So now we have to identify our performance uh, issues, right? So now if you go to the uh, statistics and if you just search for the particular product, it will show it as failure. So right now it is making only one call, but eventually it will make so many calls. But how do you find this particular product is uh, actually failed or not? Now let us go back to Hager UI. So here we need to find the product catalog service. So just select the service as product catalog service and click on find traces. So now if you just keep uh, click on uh, keep clicking the find services as you see it will display all the product uh, traces so now if you go back to the particular uh, agar ui and let us search for this particular product by using the tag information so app dot product id equals the product id and if you click on find traces it will show all failures now let us click on this particular tag information so as you see here, it is displaying series of uh, services and operations and there are failures of course. And let us click on the particular uh, uh, fail here. Basically, we, we are getting some red alert here. And if you just uh, click this and check this, and as you see here, there are so many information we are getting. And here, as you see, a gRPC error message. 13 internal error, product catalog fail feature flag enabled. So it is clearly displaying, okay, this feature flag is enabled. That is why we are getting some failures. So now if you want to get back to your application to the normal state, so what we can do, just go to the feature flag and click on uh, edit and uncheck this and click on save. So now if you go back to the uh, locust basically, and let me just reset the stats here and go to the uh, failures. Now we will not get the error anymore. So by making use of the spans and uh, the back edge, so whatever the open telemetry concepts we call, right? So if you just deep dive into those, you can easily pinpoint why the error is coming up so that you can easily rectify in your environment. Okay, now this is one way of uh, troubleshooting the issues. Okay, now let us step uh, ahead and try to identify some memory related issues. So what we can do, let us just uh, go back to the feature flag and let us uh, enable the uh, cache. So right now it is disabled, right? And if you go to the Jaeger, uh, just to select the uh, recommendation service in Jaeger and remove the uh, tag information and click on find traces and go to any span and click on the recommendation service and get product list. And if you expand the tag information, as you see here, the uh, cache is uh, enabled, which is false. So right now there is no cache involved, right? So now let us uh, go to the feature flag service and click on edit for the recommendation cache and enable this and click on save. 
now let us give some 10 minutes time and then let us come back and let us observe what difference it is making okay now the 10 minutes window is up and if you go to grafana and open the demo folder and open the demo dashboard so in this dashboard you can see there is a uh, dashlet for a recommendation service memory and here you, as you see there is a spike so why there is a spike here okay now let us investigate let us go to the uh, agar ui so in the agar ui let us uh, click on uh, find traces and let us uh, select the first uh, front end uh, span and let us uh, click on the get product list and here as you see the cache hit is false and the product count returned as 86,000. Okay. Now let us uh, copy this particular span ID and also let us copy the app cache hit. Let us go back to the Agar UI and let us make use of the uh, true here. And before that, let us uh, check this and click on find traces again. And let me uh, open this. And if you go to this product list and here as you see cache hit is true. Okay, now let us go back again and select this. So right now we have two traces selected. One is false and true. So the second one is true. And let me click on compare traces. So as you see here, AFE, this particular uh, AF64E4E, the duration is 20 milliseconds. This is cache equals true. But the left side, we have cache equals false, which is 31 milliseconds. So by using the cache hit the particular tag information we can easily say okay if the cache is hit is true the performance uh, is better because it is hitting the cache otherwise the performance will be elevated because there is no cache and it will display the difference between the uh, two calls so as you see here recommendation service which is uh, giving in uh, some red color meaning there is a difference between the two calls so this is how you will make use of the Jaeger UI to compare between the trace information and see what's going on uh, for the particular uh, any performance related issues. So this is just a, a way where you can uh, get started with your investigation. But since we already know the feature flags and its impact, uh, we can uh, directly go to the particular issue. But in case in real world, you might not know what's going on. But definitely you need to take some uh, step to deep dive into your span and you have to again uh, drill down into the root cause till you get the final issue. So you have to start with your URL and starting that URL you need to drill down by tracing the request so that it will lead you to some point where it will show you the actual uh, issue. This is how you enhance your performance engineering skills. I hope this video is pretty useful and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel